I'm Natalie Ledwell and welcome to day four of Gratitude Week and The Inspiration Show. It's amazing to have you here. So as you probably know, this entire week has been dedicated to expressing gratitude for all that we have in our lives. Now we've received an incredible response on our blog and our Facebook pages have been buzzing with gratitude statements from people all over the world. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for joining in on the fun this week. I really hope that you've been enjoying the free videos that I've been releasing as well. Now today I have a very special show planned for you where I'll be bringing you some of the students from my new Ultimate Success Masterclass Success School and they're going to share their personal gratitude journal experiences. But first, if you'd like to find out more information about how we're giving back this week to the victims of Hurricane Sandy, as well as allowing you access to some of our greatest products for up to 75% off, just click on the banner to the side there. Thanks in advance if you decide to come together with us and support those in need. What are some of the changes or the benefits that you've seen since you've been um, filling out your journal? I definitely noticed that um, I notice more of the things that I'm happy about in my life mm -hmm. and the things that are going well in my life. Um, sometimes in a busy day, it's, uh, you forget to do that. And so the gratitude journal really gives me an opportunity to reflect on the really positive things that have been happening. Well, the changes are that you're more positive, you're appreciating the little things that are happening, so of course that makes you happier overall. And uh, what I found the biggest change is that once you've had experienced several experiences and you've, you've got it going, that you want to share it. So, so you go a step above of just not just, just yourself, that you end up sharing it with others and trying to think on a daily basis, what little thing can you do to give someone else that experience? Mm -hmm. to give them that special moment in their day. Maybe it was a bad day for them or just a regular day, but something special for them. And so things like um, just giving a compliment. We all have thoughts of, of other people. Gee, that dress looks great on her or, you know, she looks especially pretty today. But we keep it to ourselves. Mm. And we shouldn't. Yeah. Why not share that? And it doesn't matter if it's a stranger or a friend, especially if it's a friend, but don't be afraid to open up and say something nice to someone who you don't know, right. just passing the street. Um, my thing I, I found that was I find the day gratitude, um, it had a really positive effect on my thoughts and my actions and uh, my attitude for the day to come. I guess my happiness. Because you're focusing in the positive and in such a way, um, it takes away the unhappiness and the negativity because you're really focusing on that positivity. And to me, that just encourages a way forward and in, in little, small steps. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess it helps you to develop the mental strength to overcome um, um problems and to remain undaunted yeah i think one of the, the the biggest change has been that i'm taking that space every night just me so you sit down at the end of the day and you think about what's gone really well in my life today what's what's what have i enjoyed and taking that space every night is that in itself is a real pleasure but you you end up appreciating so much in your life it's not just the big things like the car and the home and and you know family and stuff like that it's the really finesse little things it's it's it becomes a piece that it, it's the secret spice that helps you fall in love with your life and yeah. and, and it, it has made such a difference because there's I mean we, we recently got back from Indonesia and um, and we saw some friends up there and he said to me, there's been a real quietening in you. You know, you used to be so intense and now you're so calm. So I, I just think that it's, 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 helped, it's helped me fall in love with my life. So it changes everything. Um, you know, I feel as if I have more blessings. It, it might just be that I'm noticing them more, mm -hmm. but um, I really do feel and notice these blessings. So. It gives me more security and, and more happiness and, and uh, really more faith, actually. So that's a change on the inside. Yeah. But 
you know, there have been some changes on the outside, too. Um, I feel, and it stems from the inside, I feel like I've had more courage to investigate um, uh, an interest, a business idea that I have. And so I've taken some action steps. And before this, I would not have done that. I've, I've had lots of ideas in my life, mm -hmm. but I just haven't acted. And now I'm at the point where I'm just ready to act. I feel like I've been paying attention. I've been blessed in the past. I'm okay now. You know, despite whatever circumstances, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And so why wouldn't I be okay to at least try something new, you know? So I'm trying and, and I hope that, you know, my business idea will help other people. So how, so how hard is it for you to come up with five new things every day? Um, it gets easier because you get more aware of thinking of the little things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just I had a great lunch with my girlfriend who really enjoyed it, or my husband made an amazing supper. The other times you might like it, you might appreciate it, but you don't really give it the acknowledgement that you could yeah. and feel the gratefulness that you, you can, and that's an opportunity. So you just get better at it as you, the more you do it. Has it been like, hard trying to come up with five new things every day? No. <laughs> it's actually easy. A lot of times I will end up writing um, more than five easily. Mm -hmm. It only really takes about a minute and a half hour for, or so. Right. Uh, some days quite hard, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you're tired and you come home. I've, I've found that some days... It's, it's just typical, I suppose. Some days you're feeling more um, open to things than others. Mm -hmm. And um, when I'm tired, I find that I come home and I think, well, now I've got to think about this. <laughs> so I find that it just comes. Well, at first it feels a bit clunky and, and a bit manufactured because you kind of think, oh, what am I doing this for? But you, you, I started out by doing the things, the obvious things like home, family, husband, friends, things like that. But like I said, it, you get to the point where you get into really tiny little things that that really matter. Like, I'm really grateful this morning I got to brush my teeth in, in water out of the tap. <laughs> Thank God for that. You know, and I'm really, I'm really grateful for that. So you, you get to appreciate not just the big things, but the little things. And I think everybody's got little things in their life that they can appreciate. Blue sky, sunshine, um, you know, having this meal, having the opportunity to, to go out and go for a walk. Because Oh, sometimes it is. Um, but I find that when I focus on actually my five senses, mm -hmm. things that I can appreciate every day, um, it feels like it feels like the whole world has conspired to bring me, you know, like my hot shower. I have running hot and cold water and, uh, you know, it rained and the raindrops are sort of seeking me out. And here they come through the purification system. And, you know, just thinking about all that it takes to get anything into my hands, a, a pair, you know, all the people who worked to trim the trees and fertilize them and spray them and pick the stuff and package it. You know, you just start to think about all that goes into these blessings. So small, small things can feel like the whole world is conspiring, <laughs> like I'm the center of this wonderful <laughs> world. And so what's something that you're grateful for today? Um, I'm always grateful for my son. He's really the inspiration for me to, to do well in life and to um, meet the, the goals that I have set out for myself. Um, so I'm always grateful for that. And in general, just, just my family and friends, just the people in my life. I am very grateful for you, Natalie. I am so thankful that we cross paths and I get to learn these, these extra skills from you. But also I've met amazing people through you that you don't even know about <laughs> and the form and the ultimate success uh, ultimate success masterclass met three i'm actually going to be meeting with some of them um we're planning on doing some great things for charities together and uh this to be a part of this with you is like how could this have ever happened and it's amazing with the changes and help that you can do for other people well, you know, as I've taken um, some action steps, I I realized that um, 
I would need some business counsel, some business advice. So in, I think in every state, we have the Service Corps of Retired Executives. And I went and, and uh, asked them if I could have a mentor. And they said, yes, of course. And I went and saw him today mm -hmm. and he has helped me. He's just phenomenal. He was um, in USAID way up there somewhere. He's very wise, very reasonable and, and uh, he knows just what I need to do to continue taking these action steps um, in the right direction. So I went and saw him today and I just feel so grateful. That's a free service, you know, mm -hmm. that's just give it to me on my plate and wow. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to talk to you because it's really lovely to see you face to face after all this time, yes. more or less face to face anyway, yes. similar. <laughs> and I think I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to actually have this this one-on-one uh, -on -one with you. Um, also, um, I'd like to really thank you personally for the changes that this has made already to my life. Um, I feel that the, the USM program that I, have, I am participating in is really um, sending me forward in leaps and bounds. And I'm not young, I'm 64, so to sort of feel as though there's still so much in front of you, it, it, it's it's wonderful. And I, I really love this program. Um, I hope that um, I will, well, I'm pretty sure actually I'm going to use it again and again because I have quite a few other goals that I want to attain yes. and I just find it's a really good method for taking yourself through step by step and it all um, becomes synergist in the long run. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this special edition of The Inspiration Show. Remember to find out how you can access some of our greatest life-changing systems and help the people and the animals who were devastatingly affected by Hurricane Sandy you just need to click on the banner to the side there. And remember to practice gratitude by posting what you're grateful for below. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously, and love without limits. We'll see you soon.